Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we explored the Sevi Islands and obtained the Ruby. In today's episode, we're actually going to be going after the Sapphire, which is the counter piece. As I mentioned to you guys before, it's a little bit more difficult to obtain the Sapphire. So, you know, we have quite a bit we need to do. We have a lot of troublesome situations we're going to put ourselves in. And I'm guessing a lot of battles are going to be coming up in this area. So we'll see how this goes. Now, we're actually making our way here to Six Island. Five Island is where the Team Rocket base is, if you guys remember that part. But it's actually here in Six Island where we need to find the other password. Last time we found the first one, I don't even remember what it was. It was something weird, something strange. But today, we need the second one. So this is a must-do. You have to do this before you can get any further. And, oh man, battle. There we go, not too bad. As I was saying, you need to do this part. Now, you can't just walk into the Team Rocket base and expect for them to let you in. You can't knock on the door and drop a password. This isn't Zelda. You can't crack a couple jokes or bust down a door or do some sort of weird thing to get inside. You actually have to go after these. So we'll see how it goes. Hope you guys are enjoying your week. You know, start of a fresh week. It's Monday again. I know Mondays kind of suck a little bit, but you got to try to make the most of it. I know I definitely am. You know, I'm trying to just hang out, pass the time, play a couple games here and there. Played a lot of League of Legends last night. W didn't go too well, but uh, we have a battle. As I was saying, it didn't go too well. Lost a lot, but you got to keep on going. You know, I really wish I could play some today. I don't know. I'm kind of like hooked on it. You know what I'm saying? I, I kind of got something going on for it that just really makes me want to play it a lot. I think I'm just like a really competitive person. And, you know, all this hype coming out for Worlds and stuff, you know, League of Legends, like the championship, like the World Championships, really got me like into it lately. Also, really quickly, you have to use Cut here. So I actually removed Strength from Doki and taught it Cut because I realized, you know, we wouldn't really need to do much else. Now, another quick explanation here. We're actually in the dotted hole. And now there's a pattern you need to follow. You can read these signs and it's pretty much two letters in Braille. So it's like up. And I'm pretty sure the pattern is up, left, right down as I was saying you know I get very competitive so I, I get into that sort of thing you know I got to win some more games though I'm really just trying to improve my mechanics and just become an overall better player we'll see how that goes all right guys so this is the last one and as you can see we have found the sapphire yeah we're done that's it that was the whole game that was the whole post game wait what what is going on here uh, I guessed right I was right in tailing you I knew that there was a sapphire here so it belongs to me I'll sell it to Team Rocket for serious money. Don't glare at me like that. If you want it back, why don't you go get it after I sell it? I'll even tell you one of the Team Rocket's passwords. Uh, the password is yes, not nah, chancy. No idea what that means, but you know, if I was in our little trainer's position, I probably would have whooped out Bolin, you know, the big dude looking thing, reptile, and I would have just had him razor leaf the crap out of it, you know? I don't know why trainers don't use their Pokemon against other trainers. Personally, if I'm going after a Sapphire, which is probably worth a heck of a lot of money, you know, we needed to complete a quest, I would honestly get out you and Thunderbolt the dude. Alright, you know, not a strong Thunderbolt, almost like a taser. You know, like a little bit of a taser, just jam it right in there, just knock him out, knock him to the ground. You know, I'm not trying to kill them. I'm not trying to, you know, make them go to the hospital. I'm just trying to give them a little bit of a shock. You know, that way they learn their lesson, and then I can just be on my way and take the Sapphire. I think that's probably why I wouldn't make a good Pokemon trainer in the Pokemon world, because I'd take those measures. But, you know, that's what happens. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And now that we're done with this, guys, we're actually gonna be headed to Five Island, because now that we have the two passwords, guess what? This Rocket Scientist guy is now selling it to Team Rocket, so we need to go and stop his evil plans. It seems like we always have something going on around here. It seems like someone's always stealing something. Or we got to go and find something else. Now, this place is a little bit trickier. I haven't explored this island too much. You know, it's actually the Sevi Islands are probably the place I explored the least in these games. I remember just pretty much doing right here what I'm doing. Just getting the Ruby and Sapphires. And then I didn't really do much else. I just kind of kept on going with the game. Beat the Elite Four. Caught a lot of Pokemon, and that was about it. I never really went too in-depth into the exploration of it. But it looks like we might have a couple battles coming up. There's a lot of trainers here. Oh, man. All right, guys. There's a guy right here, and I think we're going to have to battle him. Yeah. 
Sweet. That wasn't too bad. And now we're here at the rocket base. We have all two passwords. Goldeen needs logs. What does that even mean? Is that like wood cutting on RuneScape? Like you need to get some logs? I, I don't even know. But we're here in the rocket warehouse. And now this place is a little bit tricky. By that I mean we have to make our way through this weird looking puzzle to take on a bunch of different Team Rocket members. I know. What what are they doing here? Ooh, I don't want to battle her. Nope. Not trying to battle her. Not trying to battle her. Let's go around. All right. All right. We can do this. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty comp. Why did I just... Okay, there we go. Now that I'm done, done being a dumb blonde, you know, running into Pokemon people that I don't want to battle, we're ready to continue on. As I was saying, you have a lot of weird, puzzly things to do. I sort of know the layout to this. It's not that difficult. If you just follow the right path, I don't want to battle this guy. Aw, oh, man, are you... Wait, I can dodge him. I can dodge him. Aw, oh, crap, not again! All right, I just stepped on the wrong thing. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. I am so bad at, like, maneuvering. You know, put me on, like, Bicycle Road, and I will be able to hit every trainer in the road, but not dodge one of them. You know, let's get this item now. It's an upgrade. There's actually a couple good items here that I want to collect in this base. Make sure you guys get them. They'll definitely help you out a lot as we get going. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see. Make sure we can skip that guy. I'm pretty sure the only way to bypass him is to battle him. Yeah! Alright, there we go. Let's uh, go up this way. This way seems about right. You ever go into one of these puzzles and you just have no idea where it's going to take you? And then you're literally like one step away and then you step on the wrong one and it sends you back to the entrance. So then you just grab your Game Boy and you smash it against the wall. And then you get the cartridge and then you get a lighter and then you melt it. Me either. I can't say that's ever happened to me. I don't get that frustrated. I pretty much just restart the maze and I just keep it going. Ooh, we made it. And ooh, something good we've been looking for. TM36 Sludge Bomb. Thanks to you guys who told me to actually look for it in here. I probably would have skipped over it. And it looks like we have a battle. Alright, so this is the area I've been meaning for us to get to. I told you we're going to have a couple battles coming up, and here comes the first of them. Um, let's go. There we have it guys so there's a couple admins that we need to battle uh it's just kind of in the team rocket chain of command i'm pretty sure we have to battle the guy right up here too and then we'll finally get to where we want to this guy's gonna be a little bit stronger cross your fingers dot your eyes cross your t's whatever it is i'm gonna go ahead and put doki up in front so let's go ahead and challenge him Alright, we stuck that earthquake right back up that Houndoom's 
hat. All right, let's keep on going. Now we're finally going to take on the real show. You know, honestly, guys, I'm a little bit nervous, you know, playing this game today. I had a friend of mine, you know, who was going to come by because he wanted to study here and hang out. But, you know, it's one of those friends. I think we all have this friend. You know what I'm saying? We all have that one friend that comes over to your house, that puts their shoes on the couch, that eats all your food, that drinks all your drinks and eats your candy and all that sort of thing. That's this friend. You know what I'm saying? I was a little bit nervous. He was going to start pounding on my door and he was going to be like, open up. What are you doing? And I was going to be like, dude, just give me a second. All right. I'm just trying to take down Team Rocket right now. I'm just trying to knock this out of the park. I'm just trying to disband Team Rocket, man. Look, I'm just trying to save the Pokemon world. I'm just trying to take on Kanto. And then he started trying to kick my door in. You know, last time, like, I wasn't even home. He came by my place, started eating my cereal. And it wasn't even with a normal sized bowl. It was like a big bowl that you'd like boil water in. And he just ate like the biggest bowl of cereal. And I didn't even find out like he came to my place till later when one another one of my friends told me. And I was like, are you kidding me? What was he doing there? He just ate like all my cereal. He's like, ah, I'm sorry, man. I was just hungry. I ate like three fourths of your box of cereal. I'm like, what? What are you doing? Like, I, I, I banned him out. You know, if I wasn't such a good friend, I would ban him out from coming here but you know i think we all have that one friend i think that just sort of happens in life you meet some strange people very strange people very very strange people that uh are a little bit crazy a little bit cuckoo nice people at heart but uh they just do some insane things you know some people are just real crazy out there and i think we all have that sort of friend if you can relate you know what i'm saying that 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 type of friend we all have them all right guys we're almost done here actually uh, pretty sure once we defeat the scientist, we're gonna be, uh, you know, knocking it out. Oh my goodness, I could have sworn I heard a knock on my door. I just shook there a little bit. That would have been pretty hilarious. Then I, nope, that's not, it sounds like someone's knocking on the door. No, they're not. I think I'm just paranoid. There's construction outside of my place right now, too. It's just, it's insane. You know, I like sleeping in. And this morning, I was, it was like 10. And I was trying to sleep until like noon. You know, I have class at 3 p.m. Uh, so I was just trying to sleep in. And they're just sitting there, like, playing, like, cons just playing music, blasting it outside the construction workers and, like, drilling on the wall. And I'm like, what is going on here? Got no sleep. I'm probably going to be so exhausted later today. I hope I'm not, like, falling asleep in my classes. I'll probably be falling asleep in my classes. Probably won't look that good on me. But, oh, well, you know, I didn't get much sleep. I kind of feel like taking a nap. No, I need to go to class. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, we're going to defeat this Porygon. Pretty cool to see a Porygon, right? You don't really see them that often. With that, we gained a bunch of XP. We defeated Scientist Gideon. And uh, hopefully this guy will finally give us the Sapphire. Because now with the Sapphire, we can take it back to Cillian. And that actually completes one of the biggest parts here in the post game. So we obtained the Sapphire. Let's go ahead and get out of here. I picked up some escape ropes, as you guys saw. And we are ready to finally finish up, I guess you could say, a little bit of the story-based part of the post game. I know, there really isn't too much of a post game here in Fire Red other than catching a few legendaries and, and doing this sort of thing. You know, next up, we pretty much have legendary hunting to go. This was the biggest part of the storyline. Uh, it was a little bit enjoyable. It's kind of cool, you know, seeing Team Rocket guys. How do they not know, like, that their team's disbanded? You'd think they'd have, like, a group chat or something where they'd be like, Yo, guys, yep, we're disbanded. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Go join another team grunts who knows all right guys with that let's go talk to Cillian and see what this man has to say he's pretty much just gonna tell us what I've been telling you guys all this thing does basically all this quest we did is because back in the day for you youngins story time there wasn't a way for you to bring Pokemon from red and blue and yellow version over to the new generations so what they did was here in fire red they made it so that you could trade with Ruby Sapphire and Emerald and that way all the generations were connected and you could bring some Pokemon back. Kind of the reason why they remade Fire Red and Leaf Green was for that fact that some people wanted to use different Pokemon and bring them back. With that, guys, we are done here for today. We have activated the machine, which allows us to trade with Hoenn. Next time, we will continue from here, catching some legendaries, doing some things. So if you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. I literally just finished recording and he starts knocking on the door. Are you kidding me, dude? I just finished recording.